So you're out doing level fours in your Marauder and you see a pack of Triglavians on the D scan. Do you just run by them? No, no, no. You're going to jump in, take them out and get their loot. That's what this video is about right now. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome in. Loru here, digital advertiser, content creator, and Eve Enjoyer for the better part of 10 years now. And this is our Kronos Fit to go Triglavian hunt. So before I preface this, I typically do not make the fits with the like implicit thing, I'm gonna go find some Triglavians. I typically will bring this with me when I'm going to do level fours or I'm going to do some other activity and I for all the stuff that you see here, all right, for all of our tank and all of our bonuses, because you're going to be so far from the Triglavians that you're not going to take a lot of damage, okay? So just know that it's possible to do some tech twos. You'll be safer if you bling out your ship a little bit, and we did. So we got the Federation Navy tracking computer with a tracking speed script. You're going to be swapping in the Opto Rain script. I'm going to show you how to do that in a moment, okay? We've got our sentient sensor booster. Say that five times fast, sentient sensor booster. But this is going to be able to let you target out at the distances you're going to need to uh, to be safe from the Triglavians. This is going to let you target out to 193. So with uh, some drugs that we're going to talk about later and the ammo and the optimal range, you're going to be able to just start shooting at about like 180, 170. So you can target something out to 190, shoot out to 180, 170. You're very safe from taking really any damage from the uh, Triggs. So now we're on the lows. Get yourself a, I bring two things for the tank. We got an armor repair, our standard one, and a big boy damage control. One damage control is enough. Most of the damage you're going to be taking, if you take damage, is going to be on your shields. And then from there, we just have a little bit just to be sure because ganks happen and I don't ever want to be like naked out there. This is pretty naked, but it's enough. It balances it out. So, or rather, the more DPS we have, the faster we kill the Triggs. We don't need as much tank, etc. So now we get into the fun stuff. Two Republic Fleet tracking enhancers, big boy stuff. Make sure we're hitting those shots. And three uh, damage plus magnetic field stabilizers. Okay. Our rigs, we're going to have a burst aerator and a locust coordinator. I like this as a standard, the locust coordinator on all of my marauders. I'm sorry, on all of my chronos. Excuse me. Thank you. 20% optimal range bonus. It's like necessary for all my guns. Okay. All the things. So just the good stuff the good stuff so that's the base fit let's get into the drones okay uh the drones you're gonna have some hornets we i always bring hornets with me light drones uh to be able to take out some of the smaller ships should i need to but they don't do nearly any damage right so these are mainly for if i'm running level fours and there's like a spider drone or something like that right some vespas again just to increase some firepower from the drones but again drones don't do a lot of damage the main damage piece are is are your guns 
a single EC uh, drone. You can take out other ones to have more anti-gank measures, but that's what this one is for. Uh, and then finally, the meat of our salvaging force, a dunk salvage drone. You will need dunk salvage drones for this to go fast and to uh, be able to salvage all the things. The difficulty multiplier, I believe, on the Triggs is higher than normal Rex, so I don't really have to think about it because I have Dunk Salad Drones. Thank you very much. So that's how you're going to do that. There is a frigate escape bay. We have a whole video dedicated to how we fit to this probe. Go check that out. Just go to my channel. It'll be one of the ones that are at the top there, or just type in Loru Frigate Escape Bay. Thank you very much, and you'll be able to get it done. Okay, so now let's talk about the cargo. We're going to have the ammo that we talked about. Make sure you bring a bunch of uh, uranium ammo. I typically bring like 5K of it, just to be sure. One nanite repair paste. We talk about this in some of our other videos, but you can use the nanite repair paste to repair overheated modules if you're not in a station. Very valuable in case you're like, you know, in a tight situation, you're going to be hunted. We talk about this in our recent Marauder video. Make sure you take anti-gank measures. It's important. Optimal range script. You can take a couple of these or and or the tracking speed script. I swap them in and out. Just on the sensor booster, I never use the scripts on these. It's enough uh, as is. I don't want to deal with also juggling the sensor booster. You can if you want. No thank you on my side. We got two MTUs. You're going to need two. You're going to need two because you're going to be blipping away with your jump drive out of range of your first MTU, and then the trigs are going to come towards you, so you need to be able to gather the wrecks at at least two points. I've even thought about bringing three MTUs just to be sure that I have everything to, uh, good to go and nice and wrapped up, but two is enough. Two is enough from my experience. We got our oh shit buttons. We got the blue pill and the exile pill. These are if you're getting ganked. These are going to in increase your tank. Get them just in case. This is very important. Your Frentix booster. This is a booster that increases your optimal range by about... 6%? 6%? That, that doesn't sound like a lot, but it matters. It's it's the difference between, in a lot of these situations, between you starting to do damage and killing the frigate before it ever gets in range with you or not, right? So bring this with you just to really push it to the level, to the limit, excuse me. We're going to have a cloaking device. When we're taxiing from place to place, we put a cloak and our micro warp drive on there to be able to safely go from gate to gate. If you want to know how to do this, go to our Marauder tip video. We're not going to cover in this one, but go check that out, okay? Expanded cargo holds. You're going to have a couple of these part of our travel fit. Same video I was just talking about. I typically will, will equip one or two of these. Maybe I leave one of these back at base just because three is a lot. is a bit of an excess. But if I'm out doing a level four and there's Triglavians, I'll do the level four. I'll hunt the Trigs. I'll deposit all the stuff in the station. I'll refit in the station, equip the expanded cargo holds, and bring it all back with me. I can get a hauler. I can. But I'm already out there. I like to bring these with me. I know I got some other comments in the last video, but like you need a hauler for this just in case. Sure, that's fair. I like to do this too. I have a hauler. We, we're we're going to do a video on that actually, but this is also what I like to do. So again, we talk about the salvager just to have that extra oomph in salvaging should we need to if there's a bunch of wrecks. And the cap battery is just what I use instead of a sensor booster for level fours. Okay, so that's the fit. Let's go right now into the fields, and I have a clip for that I'm going to be commentating over that are going to show you how I do this and the why and the whens and hows. Uh, you have you all have requested that in a lot of my recent videos, not just to show the fit, but how you fly it makes sense to me. Let's check it out right now. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. We are in the fields. We have spotted some trigs while we've been uh, looking around, and... I got them on D-Scan. I'm going to show this quickly. I saw them, and now we're going to be hunting them down. And you're going to use your D-Scan to try to find stuff out. And spoiler, it's actually this uh, cosmic signature here. Uh, typically, they go to planets and or moons, and you'll find them maybe even at the sun, depending on what you're doing. You can use it. We're going to have an entire video, by the way, dedicated to the D-Scan, so subscribe for that. Subscribe for that, and we're going to make sure that you get the goodies. Okay. For now, I'm just going to be jumping around trying to find the trigs at the various planets. We're going to warp right through the sun. Don't think about it. It's just how the game is, you know? I don't find the trigs at the planets or the moons. I find them at the cosmic signature, so I'm going to skip ahead a little bit, and then I'm going to show you some fun parts. All right. So we have, I have decided that it's time to scan out stuff. So I'm in my Kronos. I've ejected from my Kronos with my probe in the, my frigate escape bay that is equipped with scanning, okay? We're going to then, with my probe, already out in space with my Kronos, lock onto the Kronos. Very important. Nobody can board your ship if it's being locked onto. So I locked onto the, the Kronos just to be sure. I even go, I made sure, you know. Now we're going to scan down this cosmic signature and go hunt us some Triglavians. You're going to notice while I'm scanning, while I'm using my probes, excuse me, I'm still using my D-scan to be sure that if there's some kind of combat probes about to like scan me down, 
I'm gonna hop right back into my Kronos and get the hell out of there. So if you want the fit of this probe again, it's in another frigate escape a video that we have on this channel. Go check that out. We're gonna scan down this cosmic this cosmic signature and then we're gonna find those trigs and take them out. So I'm gonna fast forward a little bit until we get to there. See you in just a moment. Alrighty, we've scanned down the cosmic signature. Uh, we've found the trigs. We're now going to board the ship. I have to actually find it first. <laughs> I don't normally click on this button. We're back in our Kronos. Everything's hunky-dory. Now we're going to warp to the cosmic signature and go take out some Triglavian. So this is where the fun begins. Okay. We're going to warp to this within 100. And I want you to really pay attention to how and when and why we're doing things. Okay. We're going to warp within 100 because typically the trigs are near or on the wormhole. Uh, this is a wormhole that we scan down. So they're normally like around the wormhole. We're going to be doing a bunch of stuff while uh, I am killing the Trigs. I'm going to focus on how we kill the Trigs first and various combat things we do. And then I'm going to talk about all the stuff we're watching. The one thing I didn't do here that I should have is I should have made a combat safe. I should have had my like make a pin uh, command ready. It's control B normally ready. So when I pop it, I can just make a combat safe. I didn't do that this time. And it doesn't really matter this time because there's only four ships, uh, but make sure you're doing that. So I position my camera so that the trigs are behind me and I'm going to go this way. I'm going to launch my MTU just to be sure. And then we're going to get the hell away. These trigs are way close to me. Uh, 77, 80, that's way too close. We, we, we want to be above 100 away from most of these trigs. So I've got the stuff getting locked. We've turned our sensor booster on and we are micro jumping the hell away. The only thing I should have done here maybe was equip my uranium ammo, but because they're so close, antimatter, I think, will, you know, might be okay for now. Actually, no, I should have done my uranium. So we're, I'm going to remember, okay, time to switch to uranium. So, so now we're 165 away. Now it's time to consume my optimal range booster. Uh, I should have had my other ammo on there as well, but see, I'm making a spot. This is going to be the gist of how you kill the trigs is you're going to go in a line and you're going to make uh, bookmarks, points on the lines. You can warp back and forth to them. Okay, so I have my uh, MTU bookmarked. I have the spot I just warped to bookmarked. I'm going to activate Bastion mode in just a moment uh, and start poking these trigs. As you can see, Uranium Memo doing real good damage to those frigates. Let's talk about kill priority for just a moment. Okay, always these Davimix, these Davimix here at the very top there. Okay, always those little frigates. They are fast. They will catch up to you. You have to kill them off first. The typical way to do this is you want to kill the stuff that is smaller first. That's just how killing trigs goes. The smaller ones are faster. They're going to get to you. That's how it goes. After you've killed the small stuff, you can really focus down the bigger stuff. The battle cruisers, the cruisers uh, might need two guns on them just because they, they do have a decent amount of tank on you. Look at how much damage I'm taking. None. None. The Bastion mode helps with that. I actually have a little damage on my armor from like a previous thing. I don't remember what that was. So. But uh, I'm checking the range and I'm going to be like, okay, do I? I'm poking around out off my off screen over here and now I'm coming back. So something that you're going to have to watch. Let's like talk about this. You're going to watch your range. The safe thing to do is to have your uranium on at all times. But as stuff starts approaching 100, you really, you really want to start thinking... Am I switching to my antimatter? The other thing you're going to do is you're going to check your D-scan. You're going to be noticing when you get scanned down. I'm seeing that uh, some probes are out. I know that there is a... I don't see the ship on D-scan. I don't see like a combat ship. I, 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 Excuse me, I don't see an exploration ship. I do see a hauler. But I see these probes, which means that my wormhole that I'm on has officially been like scanned down and or is in the process of getting scanned down. So I'm thinking right now about leaving spoilers, nothing happens. You just kind of have to be cognizant of that. So typically what I'll do once I start seeing probes is I'll put them down to like five AU so I can see when they're on me. And then I'm going to really start thinking about should I warp off? Is this something that I, that, I, that I need to do? At the very least, notice my bastion mode has been turned off. So I can warp out should I need to because you can't leave if you got the bastion mode coming in, right? So, so that's D-scan, balancing. Am I being scanned down? Where are the ships? is bashing mode on while you're making sure to kill the small stuff, okay? So see, even though the cruiser and the battle cruiser are close to me, I prioritize taking out the frigate. Because look how fast that freaking that freaking frigate is going. <laughs> it's going very, very fast. So you want to take that down first, okay? And look, I'm like, okay, where's the closest station? That's what I'm thinking about. I'm like, okay, do I go to my deep safe? I'm going to get my, like, GTFO stuff coming in. I'm aligning to something just to be sure in case something bad happens. Because I don't see the probes on grid anymore. And just in case, we're ready to warp off. This is going to be the give and take. You're going to get some good money out of this. People are going to scan you down. You have to be able to get ready to get the hell out. So let's, let's talk about local for just a sec. This was actually a tip in one of my recent videos. Thank you to that kind person that uh, said, if you go into local and you click a name and you press control A, it'll highlight all the names that are in local right now. 
and then as someone new comes in it won't be highlighted so you can use that to like check in in local and see um who's there who's uh who do you recognize right so i've you'll see a couple times that while we're going through this that i've I'm going to be uh, uh, right-clicking someone's name, show info, checking their corporation, checking their security status, really kind of diving into like, who are they, where are they, that kind of stuff. So I do blip away here because uh, the Davimek was getting way too close. Uh, it didn't do damage to me yet, but it was starting to get in range to be able to do some damage. And then once we're away, because of the transversal, because once you're blipping away, they come straight at you versus if you're close to them, they start kind of veering off to the side and kind of circling around you. And now the fun begins. This is typical. Okay, this is typical. We got spot two. We've marked spot two. We've blipped away. And we had a crap ton of frigates coming in. I'm not going to lie to you. I was a little bit panicky right now. There's plenty of time. They're only 250 away, so we can't target them yet. But I am getting ready for stuff. I have turned off my bastion mode. And I've decided, I do decide at some point here to like go towards the frigates just a little bit to kind of speed this up because don't just sit there. <laughs> this is an active thing. Treat it like it's a mission. You want to get in, kill as many things as you can, and then get the heck out. Uh, so I'm active going towards them right now i have launched my second mtu just to be sure the mtus i have have a range of about 125 so if you're farther than 125 from your first mtu you can launch your second mtu this battle cruiser as you can see is taking all the shots is absolutely taking a long time for me to kill i was missing a bunch uh, i forgot to turn my tracking computer on there that was my mistake so um it should have been on and make sure you have your tracking computer on never ever turn it off the only uh, time I, I turn it on is when I'm uh, messing with the optimal range stuff here too. So perfect timing. You'll notice I took out the tracking speed script and I turned on the tracking computer. This is because when you have the script in there for tracking speed, you don't get a bonus to optimal range. So I took it out and I just turned it on base. That way I get a little bit of bonus to tracking speed, optimal range, and to whatever the third thing is. I don't remember. So fall off, excuse me. So whenever they're just far enough away, I like to remove the tracking speed script so I get a little bit of ex, a uh, little bit of extra optimal range. Now that I feel safe enough, close enough to, to these frigates to start doing some damage, we're going to go into local. We're going to check on stuff. I'm noticing again they're very, very close to me. So I'm thinking about while this is happening. Okay, if I if more of these Davimix keep on getting close to me, I'm going to blip away again. I've already got some kind of like sensor dampener. I don't remember what that symbol is on me. So. This is kind of the balance that you have to do. You have to be close enough to them that you can do damage, but far enough away that you're not taking damage. So I turn off my tracking computer here because they are getting close to me. I need that tracking speed script in there to be able to really hit these and get it done. I should have been locking on to more things and not just like kind of sitting there, but that's fine. I do see at this point that a battleship is in there. I'm like, okay, battleships are tanky on the trigs. You really do want to save it for last, not just because they're not going to get to you and the frigates will, because they are going to need both sets of guns on you at all times um, in order to take them out. The, one of the last things that I'll, I'll like say about this, because I think the rest of the video is just me killing it off and I'll, fa I'll fast forward, is notice I have the guns grouped into two. I have two guns in one and two guns in the other one, right? This is the optimal way that you want to run your Kronos in my experience. I do not think you should have four individuals. You could argue that you want like two and then one and one just to be able to snipe something with like the one gun, but even then, it just doesn't matter to me. I like the fact that you can reload stuff quick. You'll notice that uh, this cruiser is within range, so I swap to antimatter and I start hitting the cruiser with the antimatter instead. I am getting target painted and I've turned off the bastion module because I'm starting to think, okay, am I going to blip away again? Spoilers. It's yes. Okay. So you'll notice my salvage drones are not out right now. I'm not dealing with the salvage drones. I'm going to deal with that later. Once that big pack came in, I knew that I was like, look, I'm not going to be able to salvage stuff. I don't want the trigs like shooting my salvage drones. I don't want to be thinking about it. There's too many things happening already. I'm just going to focus on this. Let the MTUs collect the wrecks and then I'm going to uh, do it, do it later. So I want to fast forward a little bit because I think uh, just in summary, uh, all we're doing here is we're keeping the trigs at range. We're keeping our sentient sensor booster and our tracking computers on at all times. So <laughs> right the spot, it's my spot. You know, we're going to be make sure we're prioritizing the smaller fish first. Uh, we're going to watch D-scan and local to make sure that nobody's out to hunt us. We're going to kind of be aware, keep your head on a swivel, as my as my dad would say, where if you kind of get a bad vibe, like, hey, you know, I don't like the look of that ship. I, I keep getting scanned down, especially if you see some combat probes get out. Okay, leave. You have a, you have a big ship. You can always come back and do it again. So I'm gonna fast forward a little bit, and then we'll uh, show you how to, how we loot stuff. Okay, we are at the end, and it's just the battleship left. We're about to kill off the battleship. Fantastic. The bastion mode is off. I'm gonna reload my guns just for the sake of it. Uh, and once this is done, you'll see that line. We just got a bunch of spots, and we're gonna warp to a spot. 
and start salvaging some stuff. I see a bunch of wrecks at this MTU. It's 325 away and we can warp to it. That's it. So after you kill off the trigs, you got it. You got to know. It's a bit of a race after you um, kill off all of the trigs that are in your area because they respawn. They respawn. Uh, many, many times when I've done this, I have been salvaging stuff and a crap ton of trig lava and just pop on top of me and I have to warp the hell away. It's the other reason you have these combat safes in a line. So you can just warp as far as you can away from stuff and go from there. So here's how we're going to salvage stuff. You'll notice I'm micromanaging my salvage drones. Okay. I've got uh, one salvage drone on each wreck. This is, in my experience, the fastest way to do this. It is micro-intensive. It feels more like I'm playing an RTS than I'm playing a freaking MMO, for God's sake. But that'd be how Eve do, you know? So we have to get this done that way. You can also just press F and press and let the salvage drones just kind of do their thing. But all five drones are going to be on one wreck, and I found that to be uh, too slow. So now it's the uh, the boring part, really, and uh, the not-so-fun part. I like to do it just because of the micro. But we're just going to sit here and just uh, salvage stuff away. So um, as... As something goes idle, I'll like click on the next wreck. As a drone goes idle, I'll click on the next wreck and salvage it. And then once we're done with these, uh, we're going to warp to the next spot. So we do have like two or three spots here. And the other thing we're doing always is we're checking local. We're seeing, all right, we got a zero, zero security status. I'm gonna make a note of this guy's name and I'm gonna like check in on his corp later. Uh, I don't think I need to look at him. Uh, right now on like Zekiel board or something like that. Typically on a second monitor, I'll have something like a Zekiel board or something akin to that, just to be sure. Like if somebody's doing something dumb, I can know or if somebody's corp is involved in a bunch of ganks. As you can see, I've uh, started the ship moving forward. I've appro I'm approaching the next uh, point. That way, once uh, our drones are done salvaging, we can just warp to it. Because the dunk salvage drones, you don't need to be, you can be within 80 or 70. I don't remember the exact one of the dunk salvage drones. So not really a like a like big deal. I've got my tractor beams on there just to make sure that the salvage drones are close to me so that when this is all done, they can just go right back into my hold and I can warp away. So I do see on the D scan that there's a bunch of trigs and they're somewhere. They're not here. They're somewhere. So this is when I start kind of going, okay, I got to make sure I'm going fast. I got to make sure I'm salvaging stuff correctly because if those trigs hop onto me, you can't effectively salvage stuff uh, while trigs are shooting you because you have to be able to like live first, you know? So, all right, we're going to warp to our second MTU. We're going to get those wrecks. This MTU is still pulling all the various wrecks in, but... Uh, I'm going to fast forward here and I'm going to show you all how much this was all worth and then we'll go from there. Okay, we are heading back to base now. All the salvaging has been done and it's about 34 million just shy, 34 million. That was a pretty fast session. Uh, as far as I've seen, I've had these sessions where they keep respawning. I had one that was two hours and I got about 270 million, something like that in salvage. I even like got my alt coming in and it got us knocked this and was just like knocking stuff out with all the salvaging because I couldn't keep up with it. There was too many wrecks and they kept on respawning. I, I just needed some help. So about 34 million there uh from that one that is it that's it so in this video i know it was a bit of a longer one comparatively to our some of our recent ones but i really think that this one needs like some serious explanation because you are walking a razor edge by just having the damage control on there and no real other tank right you have our armor rep but whatever you're outranging the trigs you're taking them out when i do this is i go into uh do it like some level fours or some other activities again and i think i said this at the beginning of the video but then we see some trigs and we go, okay, I'm equipped to go tank them out. It's called a side quest, all right? If you enjoyed the video, make sure you press like and thank you again. We've hit 1,200 subscribers. We're about to hit 13. So thank you for that. Appreciate it. There's going to be some other Eve videos popping up at the end if you would like to check those out. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks very much.